for example, uh, right now we are here at Tongxing Cha under Gasas Dongfeng. So this is the last road point to Lunana. And uh, today is the day one and we are about to start the world hardest and toughest trek. And over the next 14 days, we are going to trek about nearly 200 kilometers and some of the highest passes in Bhutan. So we are here to begin our journey to the snowman track and it has been in our bucket list for a long time and hope uh, we will have a great time. So that's the Rodufu camp and it took us about 8 hours and the traveling distance was about 16.8 kilometers. And today is our second day of snowman trek. We are going to head towards Naritang. We are heading towards Tomala. So it, it's been about one hour hike from Zodok. This is Amtamela at an elevation of 4,900 meters. We made it to our campsite here at Naritang. It took us about seven hours and the total distance was about 13 kilometers. Kuzambola, all the way from Naritang, today is our third day of snowman trek and today we will be heading towards Tarina whereby we will be crossing the Ganagachu range.
we have made it to the Kanlakachum Pass and the elevation is about 5160 meters above sea level. We are here at uh, Tarina campsite. It was about eight hours and the total walking distance is about 18.2 kilometers. We are having breakfast at Tarina. Mm -hmm. We are here at Tarina Belly, our campsite. And today is our day four of the snowman trek. And we are heading towards uh, Wache, which is the first settlement of Lunana Geok. And the elevation here at our campsite is about 3,880 meters above sea level. We are here at Woche. The elevation is about 3,800 meters above sea level and this is the very first settlement when we start from Gasa towards Lunana region. This area has about 12 households and more than 50 people and right now this is the buckwheat uh, cultivation going on. It's almost ready to harvest and it's quite surprising to see even the reddish uh, being grown here. 
at this altitude. First settlement in Lunana region, and Wachi is about four days walk from uh, Kasa. And the moment we arrived here at Wachi, Ampasan Dem and her husband was kind enough to invite their house and offer us with warm tea and heat ourselves uh, because it was much uh, needed after our time hike from Tarina. Is our day five of the trek, and right now we are here at Wachi. Today we are going to head towards Hedi, and we will be staying at uh, Chozo. This is Kesela, a mountain range between Oche and Hedi. And the elevation is about 4,650 meters above sea level. Lai lo mina. Right below Keshela, towards Tanza and Hedi, uh, we can find this type of temporary shops. This is Tenga settlement here at Lunana Geok and it's right below Kichila. Yeah. And we can see Hedi and Shansa. It's up there finally.
example, uh, right now we are here at Lunana Primary School. Gibi uh, and Lunana Primary School is about five days uh, walk from Gasizongkak. Uh, example, we uh, meet in Tianjin School. School was built in 1997. Uh, currently, in the school, we have six teachers and around 50 students. Nana School uh, begin from April and it's end uh, at the end of November. This is Lunana Geok Administration Center, right between Lady and Chozu. Finally, we made it to Sojo Guest House here at Sojo and today we walked for about 27 kilometers in 11 hours we started from Woche, we passed Hedi and then finally we are here at uh, Sojo so today we are dead tired and today is one of the most struggling part of this snowman trek so far Here with Abnyangde, and uh, he is the host here. And uh, last night we came pretty late. Chimdi ya i dona ve da gesa uji ka chan. Gesa uji ka chan chim ke ni lok dam ta pa. Ta te chire mashina to chika. I one seven six two nine nine five five. Today is our sixth day of the snowman trek, and right now we are here at Chozo village at an elevation of about more than 4,100 meters above sea level. So behind me is the Chozo village. We are here at Mendel Tang School here at Chozo Village and this is the famous school where Lunana Ayak in the classroom was shot at the past Buddhist Oscar movie which was nominated to the Oscars and this is the school. Uh, my name is Namgidoji and I have been serving in the school for almost 18 years now. And the school you are seeing is uh, Mendel Tang ECR and it has uh, started in 2012. As of now, we have only uh, nine students and two teachers and one cook. And this is the school uh, that you can see in uh, Yak in the classroom. Behind me is Chuzo, and right now we are heading towards Tanza. So, today it's Tanza. So that's uh, Tenji village and up there is Tangsa and Totomiko and Rafinko is above that uh, settlement and we are here at Lunana and if you see behind 
So that's Chozo village. So right now we are going to the viewpoint from where we can see both Rafstringso and Totomitso. Example, today is our seventh day of the snowman trek and right now we are here at Denche and today we are heading towards Sori. About 500 meters ascent from Hansa, we arrived at the junction. And from here, if you cross this bridge, it will take you to Nikachu. And on this side, it will take you to Bumtang. We made it to a campsite here at Sorin and the elevation is about 5,300 meters above sea level and it took us about 8 hours. Uh, the total walking distance uh, is about 15.2 uh, kilometers. <laughs> we are having fun, so it's slow. So we are having a tea. A tiring height from all the way from Panza. This and myself. This is the highest achievement of elevation for us, and we are quite happy. Yes, yes. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah.
example uh, today is our eighth day of the snowman trek and right now we are here at Sorim. so down there is our Sorim camp and the altitude of this uh, place is about 5300 meters above sea level so behind me you can see the majestic mountains right from there to down there This is the highest campsite on snowman track from Gasa to Pumtang. Takelo Gobula Pass, 5450 meters above sea level. The highest mountain pass on snowman track from Gasa to Pumtang. And the highest mountain pass that I have achieved so far. And this is what I'm proud of. Takelo. So we made it to our campsite somewhere below Gongopinsu Base Camp and it was about uh, 6 hours uh, and 11 kilometers we covered. We are here at the base camp of Mount Kangapinsum, so which is known as the highest unclimbed mountain in the world. Example, today is our ninth day of the snowman trek, and right now we are here somewhere near uh, Kangapinsum base. And the elevation right now at our campsite is about 5,000 meters above sea level. And today we are going to head towards another campsite. That's Mount Kangapinsum, the tallest and the highest mountain in the world, which is unclimbed till date, and tallest in Bhutan also. And the tipa put it here.
Jeg ngam mau. Ada lam sini tu bisa jadi. Tadi mau tu jualan itu ya. Ada mau. Lam lebih tu terpulang minit mus. Tem one dia jadi lojo kui. No maju ya. Tem sini tu juga sih muda. Tem sini juga sih jauh. Ada tengah dah cuti tim pisah ni banyak. Kuzampola, today is our tenth day of the snowman trek, and we are here at somewhere below Sagal Pass. And the altitude of our campsite here is about 4,500 meters above sea level. Yesterday we started from Kangkapensu Base Camp, and we crossed Kesheo, and we thought of crossing Sagal Pass and head towards Waratham, but somehow we lost our track, and we even tried to cross. We even crossed that bridge uh, in order to find a way towards uh, Waratang, but then we lost the track and we couldn't find any uh, path towards wa uh, Waratang, so we had to come back and camp out here. And still, two of our friends, uh, PG and uh, Sweet Jump, so they went towards that bridge to find the way towards Waratang Pass. We are here at this, uh, the another pass which is uh, about 4,700 meters which is right next to Sakala Pass. So over here you can see uh, this ridge has a lot of direction which, uh, we, which, we, which will lead us to lose our way. So always uh, try to follow the top of the ridge and always come at the end of this ridge. At the end of this ridge and you will find the two uh, pa, two lapsa. So from there, you can take uh, this way. So this is Sagala Pass on snowman track and the elevation is almost 5,000 meters above sea level to be exact is about 4,976 meters above sea level Just next to Sagala, and it's about 4,700 meters above sea level. Good evening. Uh, we are here at uh, one of the very humble nomads uh, uh, Iyakadar's home. So they are very warm enough to let us 
have a meal with them and it's quite cozy and quite warm over here and we feel like home after a long time and we are having a good time. But we thought of stopping by uh, Waratong and then have a small time with the Naomid family out here. So we are quite happy to meet them and share our meal together with them and they even shared their meals together with us. So, so we are quite happy to be here. We are here at Waratong and today we are heading towards Durtsachu. So this is the Fula Pass and elevation is about 4600 meters above sea level and from here it's towards Waratong, it's towards Durtsachu. We made it to Dulcachu and it took us about 4 or 30 minutes and the total distance is about 10 kilometers. We are at Dorsachu and we are having fat tea. <laughs> uh, good morning, love. all the way from uh, Dorsachu here at Kumtang and the elevation is about 3300 meters above sea level. Today is our 12th day of the snowman trek.
This is Gotola Pass at an elevation of about 4,400 meters above sea level. So this is Julela Pass. The elevation is about 4,700 meters above sea level. And after 10 hours of work, uh, we made it to Kurubang and the distance we covered is about 24 kilometers and this is Kurubang. We will be staying here for the night and tomorrow we are going to head down towards Tur village that way.
Yes, finally we did it. So, after six hours of hike from Kurban, we made it to Dur village, and the total distance from Kurban to Dur village is about uh, 18.5 kilometers. And today is the 13th day of the snowman trek, and we have finally completed. So we are proud that we have done this trek. Finally, we did snowman trek and it's been a wonderful journey for us. We had a great time camping and we even struggled a lot on the way uh, with the harsh weather, with the difficult trail. But finally, we made it and we feel very proud to do it and hope everyone will enjoy this uh, video that Jamso have to share with you guys. Thank you. This is the condition of our shoes after our snowman trek. The toughest uh, trek in the world. We are here at uh, Dur village in Pumtang, which is the end. Uh, stage of a snowman trek from Gasan Dunana to Bumtang. Uh, it was uh, completely new, and uh, all four of us didn't have any idea about the trek. We had to struggle on the way. We had a lot of uh, memories that we can share together when you grow older. Woo! Snowman. Successfully completed a snowman trek after 13 days. So this is a small part of celebration and thanks to Yang Zong for the cake. It's quite a surprise. <laughs> <laughs>